What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you as always from Cardiff City. Now in this video I have some good news. This is basically a full removal, an iCloud removal of an iPad 5th generation model A1822. And that's what this content is about the model A1822 fifth generation. Over time, I've had a lot of comments about why the iPad fifth generation cannot, or sorry, sometimes can and sometimes cannot be reprogrammed. A lot of people don't understand um, why that why that is basically. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why it is and what it basically comes down to. So for example, fifth generation Wi-Fi, they have two different chipsets, two different chip identification numbers. So if your chip ID number is eight triple zero, it means that it can be reprogrammed and fully activated, which I'm about to show you in this video. Right, so let's connect it up and let's go over to 3U Tools. And just to show you, right, so for example, if you select here, view iDevice details, right? And as you can see here, it says the chip ID and the number is 8,000, okay? So if if, yours, if your chip ID is 8,000, that means that your iPad can be reprogrammed. Now, if the chip ID is 8003, then it cannot be reprogrammed, okay? I want to be clear on that. Because this is basically, and as you can see yourselves, look, iPad uh, identifier 6.11, which of course is model A1822. Uh, and you can also get the model number here as well, where it says there A1822. So that way, you know, it's a fifth generation. And yeah, basically. So I am now going to do the removal to activate this iPad fifth generation. Okay, now yes, don't get me wrong, if your chip ID number is 8003, then no folks, this method is not gonna work for you, okay? Um, what you do need is one of these, either an iRepair P10 box, P11, P12, a JCID box, B box, any type of NAND programmer, okay? any type of NAND programmer, so you're able to reprogram it and then activate it. So, first thing to do, put your device into DFU mode. So holding the power key and the home button, as soon as the screen goes black, one, two, three, let go of the power button, keep hold of the home button, three four five six seven eight bingo it is now officially in dfu mode forgot to close itunes on three u tools certainly would help. Do you don't want iTunes popping up whilst this is happening, okay? Right, so that's done. Next step. Now the device is in DFU mode.
connect the eye repair box, whichever one you're using. And simply connect it to your iPad. Now, using the iRepair P10 software or whatever software you're using for whatever NAND programming device you have. Open up the software. Wait a few seconds till it loads. Excellent. Maximize that. Select this here. Now, this is a really good method because a lot of people are stuck with iPad 5th generation Wi-Fi's because w since iOS 15 came out, Checkmate haven't got a bypass for the Wi-Fi iPads. They have for the cellular ones, and of course for the iPhones, anything up to the iPhone X, sure. But for the Wi-Fi iPads, they don't have um, a bypass for them. They do if you're on iOS 14.8.1 or below. But if you're on iOS 15 or 16, and you've got a Wi-Fi iPad 5th generation, then this could be the video for you, but that would be contingent upon the chip ID number, okay? So like I said, as long as it's 8,000, you are good to go. So now let's change the code. Obviously, get a code off your supplier. And now let's reiterate the new code. So that's the serial number done. Moving on onto the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth MAC address. For those of you who know about this, then you know, do you know what I mean? Also, please do this for your own personal reasons and do it ethically. I have to cl clarify that. Please read the Copyrights Act and uh, the link in the description below. Thank you. Right, so the Wi-Fi address aligns correctly with the Bluetooth one and the serial number. So that's my code. So let's tick these three now and let's right check them. They're all good. Now in querying the information, everything checks out. Now these codes have now been changed. So we can exit out of this now. Okay, excellent. So now that's been done. Let's disconnect this from here. No longer need the eye repair box. So now what we want to do now it's been reprogrammed, simply head over, well, three U tools is already opened up, brilliant. Make sure you tick the box to close iTunes. You don't want iTunes popping up all the time. Okay, so now what we do need to do is basically either put it in recovery mode or DFU mode. 
we'll go for DFU mode because we have to restore it again. So holding the power in the home, when you see a black screen, two, one, let go. Keep hold of the home button. Perfect. And now we're just gonna do a smart flash. 16.5.1 is the current data. Make sure you select quick flash mode at the bottom, okay folks? And then select flash. It's now gonna do a restore. I'll speed this process up once it's done. Right back with you. Yes, bingo. Congratulations, clean flash completed. So now the device has been restored. We're gonna go through the activation process and your iPad fifth gen will be fully activated, up and running. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people, you know, they've said about the fifth generation iPads and um, a lot of the time they are, um, like I said, unless the chip ID number is 8000, this process will not work, you know. Um, but if it's, a, um, yeah, so 8000, you got it. If it's 8003, it won't work. Now, regarding like the Mini 4, the Pro 1 9.7 and the Pro 1 12.9, well, with them, I don't know about the Mini 4, but with the Pro 9.7 and 12.9, they come down to the chip ID numbers as well, see? Which is, you know, kind of a strange thing really, but if you've got a fifth gen, then you're good to go. Um, a fifth gen iCloud locked Wi-Fi, like I said, providing the chip ID is 8,000, you're in it, you, you got it, you're good to go. As you can see, it's already said, congratulations, activation successful, brilliant stuff. So let's head over to iDevice now. Look at that, activated, yes. Apple ID lock off, iCloud off. It's brilliant, excellent stuff. So just to confirm, let's go through this. Just put my password in a sec. Go. 
but just know, fifth generation, A1822, and I'm about to say bingo, but sometimes it can, <laughs> sometimes it can stay on this page for a couple of minutes. Sometimes it might you might get the red triangle unable to activate. Uh, if so, don't panic. Just just confirm it, um, and then it'll work. But look at that data and privacy done. iCloud lock gone, gone. iPad fifth generation model A eighteen twenty two. People, look at that done. All done. So, for all you folks out there that do have this model, iCloud locked, be sure to go on 3U Tools and check, okay? Make sure you go on 3U Tools and check to make sure that the chip ID number is 8000. Unfortunately, if it's 8003, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing you can do. Because no matter what code you use, it will still say unable to activate. The net result, people, is still the same. Unable to activate with the red triangle. Yep. And basically, that's what's going to end up happening. So it's a good idea that basically that it does come down to the chip ID number. And now look, we're in the device, see? Fully functional, everything working, you know? Um, and basically, that's how you do an iPad 5th Gen model A1822 Wi-Fi only, okay? Hope this video has helped. Like I said, obviously, if you don't have a NAND programmer, then, yeah, you're going to have to get one. Um... Please check out the rest of my content. Uh, my content is filled with iCloud uh, premium bypasses, iCloud removals, MDM remote management, all related to iOS devices, watchOS, macOS. If that's up your street, you're good to go. Also check out um, on Checkmate, if you're purchasing um, any bypasses on Checkmate, be sure to use my promo code, that's iCloudHelper029, all one word, to get 10 to 15% off your order. And you're good to go. So yeah, I uh, hope this video has helped. Smash that like, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Plenty of content on here and plenty more content to come. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.